So one of the first things I noticed when I got the bike was the fact that these turn signals are just gigantic. They look like catfish whiskers. And so I'm going to try and see if we can shorten this thing. It's just a big piece of rubber, so it shouldn't be too hard to just kind of cut this and bring it in a little bit so that it cleans up the front of the bike. Okay, so I misspoke. It turns out it was too hard. So I have them taken off the bike here, and this is the one that I completely mangled. And I cut it here, and my intent was to get rid of this section and then slide this up onto the connecting bolt here that goes to the headlight. However, this long piece is supported by a pretty heavy duty metal sleeve. Not only that, but the rubber that's on this, and you can kind of see that I've tried to hack this thing and it's, it's permanently glued to this. And I could probably scrape all of this off if I really, really wanted to, but quite frankly, it's a waste of time. Parts like these go super cheap, and so what I did was I hit the internet hard and found one that was 12 bucks. And through the magic of editing, here we have our brand new turn signals. I have no idea which ones these are. They're just cheap no-names. All that I know is that the lights are LED, and the connections and the bolt all match the stock that we have here. So we got a small size comparison there. So you can tell that this is gonna be a lot closer to the headlight, so it'll clean up the front of the bike, not make it look so much like a catfish. Side note, before I put the new blinkers on, this is what it looks like with them off, no blinkers at all. And I think this looks strikingly like that grasshopper in Bugs Life, forget his name. I think it's Thumper. And if it is, I think this might be a good name for the bike because it is a thumper. We got everything almost buttoned up. We got blinkers working on both sides and hazards. Everything's good there. No issues. Um, just before I finish buttoning things up though, I did want to kind of show. So this whole headlight assembly is connected by two bolts up here by the ignition and then one long bolt down below. I originally had this bolt just kept in here and then just um, wanted to take these two out and then just hinge things back. But um, putting things back together is a whole nother story. There's rubber mounts that these bolts fit into and those rubber mounts are so soft and the fitment is so tight that you can't really get this up onto the bracket here in order to feed the the thread in and the rubber is so soft that it actually covers it up which makes it really difficult so I found the easiest way to actually put this thing back together is thread these two up top with this out the bolt down below and then deal with this and those two are threaded up here and you can see right here just how tight these clearances are that it's it doesn't really fall into place very well and even just pushing down on the headlight doesn't really help that much. And so in order to get this bolt back in, I really, I literally have to wedge a screwdriver in there and smack it with a hammer 
to get it to come down enough that I can feed this bolt back in. Now it's finally time to tackle levers. These are the stock ones, obviously, and they are quite loose. So what I got is this to replace it, mostly for the looks, although it does have some adjustments right here. So we'll fit these up on both sides and see how it compares to this. And if there's still some play in there, we'll make some adjustments. Okay, new lever is in, bolt is tight, but still incredibly loose. So what we're gonna do is thicken this section right here. I'm gonna take a page out of Kraken's book. That's another YouTuber with a Benelli uh, Kraken's Garage. He does a lot of great videos, and so I'm referencing a lot of them. He's a lot further along in his build than I am. So what he did is what I'm gonna do, which is thicken this with some nylon washers here. Um, so I'm gonna sand one down. The thickness here is just a little bit too much, but I'm gonna sand it down just to, to thin it out a little bit, just enough that I can wedge it in here and get rid of this up and down play. both sides clutch and brake so these both feel really nice and best of all that slop that up and down motion is gone thanks to washers here and I also put another washer in here so these are gonna feel a lot nicer so we finished up the control mods for now got some stylish levers got some better looking blinkers Still waiting on the bar ends. I have ordered these, they're coming in, but they're on the slow boat, got it from AliExpress, so I don't expect to see these anytime soon, but these will work for now. So thanks for taking a look. I'll see you in the next one. Please.